What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Crypto Millionaire Journey. It is your host, Lil Wolf of Crypto here. And uh, today we're going to be really diving on into the DeFi world, uh, the different platforms I'm using, um, the different, I guess you could say, systems that I'm trying to create uh, that's just going to create, you know, more passive income um, because with some of these platforms, there are a plethora of different ways you can use them to your benefit to pretty much earn every day uh, from basically doing nothing uh, so some of the platforms we'll be talking about today and if you heard some of my previous episode um, we'll be talking about yield watch uh, which is the defy dashboard and I also found another dashboard that's pretty cool that I would say expands a little bit more compared to your yield watch uh, it's called Ape Board, and then obviously we'll be diving in with Pancake Swap, Pancake Bunny, talk about Walt Finance a little bit, and uh, Auto Farm as well. Because again, there's so many different platforms where you could basically, like I said, just stake uh, your tokens on multiple chains, I should add, because we have Binance Smart Chain, you got Ethereum's blockchain, you got uh, Polygon, you got Luna, you got Solana. Uh, and I think I might be leaving off one more, but like I said, we're going to be talking about all those today, but we'll probably start off first with, uh, yieldwatch.net. Um, this platform right here is pretty cool just for the fact that you're basically able to, uh, keep track of all the different farms, um, that you are obviously staking with and earning. Same thing goes with liquidity pools. Now, I might add, as far as liquidity pools, don't really have any experience in that particular realm. Uh, for me, personally, I don't think I really have the right amount of capital to really kind of capitalize on those particular gains because when it comes to liquidity pools, you can earn, I would say, it's in about three to four different ways because you got the trading, uh, trading fees, um, you like share the pool, and um, there's some other code fees that you can earn pretty much daily. And I would say the best way to kind of take advantage of that, especially if you do have the capital to even um, go into those particular pools, I would say when obviously right now when the market's kind of down and stuff like that, because as you guys have been following, the market took another dump, uh, what, last 24 hours. Now, as far as Yield Watch, um, again, with this platform, you got a couple of platforms that you can um, track across all your different DeFi platforms that you're using. You got Beefy Finance, PancakeSwap, HyperJump, Blizzard.Money, ApeSwap, B Dollar, Jet Fuel, Auto Farm, Pancake Bunny, Walt Finance, Belt, uh, Cryptos, MDX, Alpha Amora. Venus.io and you got Cream Finance and uh, all you really gotta do when you get to the platform, like I said, it's called yowatch.net. So if you guys wanna check them out, you just put in you know whatever address you are currently using for all your different tokens, and you just come down here and you kind of see all your different stats uh, as far as your daily earnings at APY, which is you know very important. Now, obviously, um, I don't have the pro version. Uh, the pro version is basically based off of you know how much uh, capital you actually have within the platform so if you do want to upgrade to like the pro version you are going to need their watch token so that's a token that right now price is very cheap uh, you look at the price currently right now price is at 43 cents um, I don't have too many watch tokens I am earning some watch tokens uh, thanks to ApeSwap uh, but just keep that in mind if you guys want to, you know, unlock the full potential of Yield Watch, you will have to upgrade to their pro version. But again, still, even with the regular version, it gives me enough analytics for me to kind of, you know, be able to keep track, focus on maybe certain pools and farms that I want to kind of add more capital to. Because, prime example right now, uh, Pancake Bunny with Binance Smart Chain. Uh, the two vaults I'm in on that one, which is the cake and Bunny Maximizer, 
with the cake vault. Uh, I stake cake, but I'm also earning back cake and bunny. Um, so that particular pool is pretty cool because again, I'm staking one token to earn back two tokens. And if you guys have been following Pancake, uh, you guys would know that they just burned, uh, I think it was like somewhere like, somewhere in I think the 50 to 80 million worth of tokens uh, not too long ago. I think that happened, I think that was on Monday of this past week. So with those two vaults that I have open right now, you know, I'm looking at my daily percentages right now. And obviously these, these percentages can fluctuate, they can change. That's why you should, you know, always leave. You know, come in here and check on them. Uh, right now with the cake vault, I'm earning about 0 0.20 a day, and then on the buddy maximizer one, I'm earning about 0.29 percent. So if you combine those two, those two vaults right there, you're looking at basically, you know, close to about 0 0.50 percent just for those two particular vaults. Now, if you go over to Pancake Swap, uh, I have cake staked that I'm earning back true USD and what's kind of I guess you should say kind of cool about some of the farms or say some of the pools on pancake swap is you know these have uh, end dates so it's not like you can earn some of these tokens forever uh, they do have expiration dates so with true USD for example um, I won't be able to earn any more true USD uh, once July 31st is basically the end of the month um, so I'm thinking about moving that cake that I'm staking over there and possibly putting it to a different pool where I can earn a different uh, particular token. And again, from the time I've been staking cake with the true USD pair, uh, I'm looking at a total yield of about $61, uh, which is not too shabby off of basically like a thousand dollar investment. Um, obviously, you know, the money behind cake is going to fluctuate because you know depending on what time you bought it at what price you bought it at stuff like that but with that one i'm gonna point one eight percent now i want to say when i first started staking cake and earning true usd i want to say that apr was i think about point two zero point two one so again that's just a little example of how you know that can fluctuate but again for what i put in and to be able to earn you know basically $61 for, like I said, for actually doing nothing, not too shabby. And then uh, yesterday I actually decided to stake some cake uh, to earn some Walt X uh, tokens. And uh, over there on that particular pool, I'm earning about 0 0.20. So with those two pools right there, uh, we're looking at, you know, 0 0.3, about 0.38, yeah, 0.38% on that particular pull in that particular obviously protocol which is pancake swap and then I actually start to do some research on auto farm uh found a couple things that actually that I was actually a little shocked about didn't really currently you look at the rankings it's only about four was that 438 current price right now is about eight hundred and seven dollars now if you go back to sheesh Go back to early January, February, around that time period. The all-time high for this particular coin, which was, yeah, back on February 20, 2021. These are stats coming from CoinGecko here. Close to about 14,000. Yeah, 14,000 for this bad boy. And that particular platform, um, I'm not too familiar with it. Just actually started using it, uh, I would say probably about almost about a week uh, so with them uh, the whole advantage uh, at least for me the reason why I kind of came over here was to basically double up on my WEX uh, so WEX is uh, attached to Walt Finance um, WEX and Walt X is basically uh, the governance tokens for that particular platform and over here on auto farm I deposit some WEX uh, I'm noticing that even that APR has dropped a little bit compared to when I had first started out. I want to say it was at about 0 0.20. Um, now it's at about 0.18. But with the WEX that I'm earning over here, uh, I'm also earning auto as well. So this is a particular pool or vault, wherever you want to call it, 
where I'm actually earning two tokens. So I'm going ahead and boosting up my WEX holdings and I'm also uh, earning some auto as well. And I decided to just harvest the auto that I had and went ahead and put it into the auto vault because with the particular auto vault, your APR isn't that high. I want to say it's like maybe 14% a year. Um, but I figured, you know, you know, go ahead and just deposit, just to test it out, see, see what I can yield back. I mean, again, it's not too much in there. Um, but then also to Waltz Finance, which is another platform, another DeFi protocol, um, which I want to really try to take advantage of because for those tokens over there, um, Wex and Walt X, price is very, very cheap. And when I mean very cheap, I mean that Walt, uh, the Wex token is not even a penny. So we're talking about close to maybe six of a penny worth. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, so I know back in, I think it was back in May-ish, around that time, you know, that particular token was at nine cents. So um, the whole point of staking Wex, and again, if you guys are paying attention, um, I'm also staking Cake on PancakeSwap. So I'm earning Walt X over there. I'm earning Wex on Auto Farm. I'm earning Wex on Walt Finance. And then I also have, uh, I've staked some Walt X and Wex on 11 Finance as well. So again, it's, really trying to figure out how I can pretty much create this circulation or I should say cost rotation of earning these different tokens on these different uh, protocols and being able to kind of, you know, boost basically my accumulation. Uh, the point is to get, you know, especially these WEX and Walt X tokens is to really just accumulate these at a, uh, at a pretty high rate um, during these, again, these low prices and then from there, you can kind of have that flexibility where, you know, if you're earning, you know, Wex, Waldex, if you want to go ahead and swap that back to Pancake or swap that back to Bunny, um, you're kind of able to do that, which is just kind of cool with these different protocols. Because, I mean, again, these protocols that I'm referring to, you got the Binance Smart Chain, you got Polygon, you got Luna. So, for me, I'm just trying to figure out... <laughs> the best way to maximize all these different profits because again i'm also on ape swap as well where i'm earning banana tokens i'm earning watch tokens um obviously i don't have a lot of capital on ape swap but definitely want to you know get to that period where i do have obviously some more money on there as well because ideally um goal here really folks is to have enough capital on here where you know it is potentially bringing me in about you know anywhere from 50 bucks to 100 bucks a day because once we get to that point it's pretty much just smooth sailing so it's just easy passive income where you ain't really have to do anything and it's just at this point you're just watching and just kind of marring the market because again as you collect these tokens at these particular price range you gotta remember it you know when the price goes up all those particular earnings that you have earned, they're gonna double, if not triple. But we're gonna head on over to Ape Board. And the reason why I like Ape Board a little bit more compared to Yield Watch, there's a lot more information, a lot more uh, analytics, and you're tracking, again, across about, about six different blockchains, because you got Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Terra, Solana, Polygon, and Binance. So, I'm coming down here, got all these different wallets, do all these different protocols I'm involved with. Um, and this one, they show you some analytics as far as some of the daily APR for some reason. It doesn't show you each one, um, but you know, you kind of get the, the logist of what you're earning. And also too, you can kind of go back to Yield Watch to kind of figure out, you know, hey, you know, you can kind of compare and contrast as far as your different daily earnings. But again, all the different pools and vaults I'm involved with, you got 11 Finance, ApeSwap, Walt Finance, uh, Solana Farm, or Soul Farm, which is on the Solana blockchain. I'm actually staking Radium on there, earning, uh, I believe it's called Tulip, which is the governance token for that particular protocol. All Farm, PancakeSwap, PancakeBuddy. 
And what's kind of cool about this particular uh, website is you come down to the protocols section and it's going to give you every protocol that is supported on the platform and that is supported for each of these blockchains. So this right here, you're pretty much your best friend because you come in here and you can see which protocols that you might want to hop on to, might want to try out. Now for me, my whole goal was to see what were the common, what were the common protocols on multiple smart chains. So like for, for example, Binance Smart Chain, some of those protocols that are common on other ones is like, you know, Pancake Bunny, uh, you got Beefy Vault, you got Ape Swap, 11 Finance, Walt Finance. So for me, I was like, okay, let's try to figure out how I can really boost and maximize using pretty much the same protocols, but on multiple blockchains. So that way I'm earning, you know, in four to five different ways on each of these different blockchains. Because prime example, Polygon, you know, that's a particular blockchain that I think is going to obviously do well in the future. It's been doing a lot of partnerships in the last, you know, a couple of weeks. So for me, I was like, okay, let's try to figure out how we can use the same platforms that I'm using already on Binance Smart Chain, but let's go ahead and use it on Polygon. Now, I haven't really uh, dove into the Polygon side of things, still trying to uh, figure out how I can really kind of migrate and bridge some of these different tokens uh, to get them on over to Polygon, stuff like that. So that's something I still got to do research on. But I would say for right now, most of my uh, earnings are coming from the Binance Smart Chain. But again, like I said, I do want to uh, get myself involved into the Terra uh, blockchain because they have some different protocols on there as well where you're able to earn Luna and stake all that. And then Solana right now only has three pro protocols. Uh, they got Soulfarm, Radium.io, and Orca. Uh, I am on Soulfarm, kind of, you know, doing some test runs with that one, seeing how that one kind of works out. Because some of these, you got to uh, remember... Some of them might be in beta protocol. Some of them are not necessarily on the main net quite yet. Um, so again, you always got to kind of do your due diligence, do your homework before you even start staking your tokens on some of these platforms. But again, that's where the fun part comes in, doing the research and figuring out, you know, hey, how can I combine all these different platforms, these different protocols to really maximize my returns and earn more tokens. But uh, Beefy Vault's another one. Beefy Vault's on Binance Smart Chain. It's also on Polygon's uh, Smart Chain as well. Uh, and Pancake Bunny actually just rolled out on Polygon not too long ago. And so did ApeSwap. So, again, all these platforms that I'm name dropping, uh, again, they're on multiple Smart Chains. I know Alpaca Finance. I think that might be the next big one that everybody is running to. I know, that, I know uh, their token has gotten listed on a couple exchanges this past week if i'm not mistaken but again this is a lot i know if you guys are probably listening you're probably thinking whoa like there's so much and that's a, that's the thing about the defy world it's it's a lot to take in man um that's why i constantly tell people to you know do your do your research figure out which one's the best one for you reason why I like to be on the Binance Smart Chain and Polygon Smart Chain is because, you know, when it comes to transaction fees, fees are really low compared to Ethereum. Ethereum's gas fees, sometimes, uh, if not most cases, you know, it, it's a little bit too much. Um, so I'm really trying to get to a point where, like I said earlier, where I have enough in all these different protocols and I'm making, you know, daily, like I said, daily, folks, because, again, you guys... As soon as you start staking your tokens on these platforms, you start earning from day one. And if you have enough obviously in there, you're able to harvest those tokens, you know, every hour, every day. I mean, it really it really depends on, you know, your your harvesting schedule. For me, I would say I'm kind of uh, I harvest somewhat at the end of the month for the most part. Um, Cause you know, it depends on the market as well. Cause if some of these tokens that you are staking, and they are, you know, starting to surge a little bit. You might want to harvest that day and then go put it into another project. Um, for me, what I've been doing a little bit too is keep my eye out on BNB uh, because you guys, you know, you guys, if you guys know, 
I've been following the news and events as far as BNB. BNB has another burn coming up here pretty soon. It's going to be happening between July 15th through the 18th. We don't know which day it's going to happen, but obviously uh, that's the timetable for right now. I know for a fact the last quarter when they burned BNB, they burned about 600 million uh, equivalent to their BNB. So, and that's when the price of BNB had a nice little surge. So, for me right now, I'm kind of taking advantage of you know all these different farms I'm involved with, harvesting those and kind of putting them back into BNB just in case you know BNB has another surge in it. Um, but so if you guys are new to the Defy world, um, I would definitely say. Again, do your homework, check out some of these platforms because, again, I'm just strictly talking about the staking side of things. Now, the liquidity pool side, you know, I would say that's a little bit more riskier uh, just because, you know, you're providing liquidity. You're using tokens that people can come on those platforms. They can, you know, buy and sell, trade or whatever it be. And um, you got, you know, I think for me personally, I feel like you have to pay a little bit more attention. But again, too, I, like I said, I don't really have the capital uh, right now to really kind of go into that liquidity pool world and necessarily get some of these earnings that you might have seen on, you know, some of these different YouTube videos where the case may be. But the earnings are there. They, they're, they're definitely there. You just got to, like I said, figure out what works best for you. Um, but I'm excited as far as to see how many farms I can get going. Um, like I said, my next couple of projects, I would say that, <clears throat> that I'm looking to focus on and obviously kind of get my hands involved with would be Terra, uh, Solana. And like I said, Polygon is probably at the top of that list, but Solana, um, Soul Farm. So with Soul Farm, I'm actually staking Radium and APR is not, you know, too bad. Uh, the weekly APR is about you know 0.59 which you know that's that's not too shabby if you're getting that weekly obviously the yearly is 36.02 percent which you know ain't too shabby as well because again what's kind of cool about the defy world is i look at some of these platforms as you know compared to the traditional finance world where you have your you know your cds your high yield interest bearing accounts but as far as the APRs and APYs, you're, you're not getting anywhere near close to these numbers. Um, and again, it's you know super easy. All you gotta do is come in here, stake your tokens, harvest whenever you feel like it. And I think for me, to kind of keep a little bit, a note just for me personally, is when I do deposit you know certain tokens, if I'm able to harvest you know my initial return or I should say my initial investment, you know I'm I'm good with that and. You could take pretty much that initial investment, put it back into a stable coin, you know, maybe go stake it somewhere else. But again, the DeFi world just gives you a plethora of different opportunities of how you want to kind of not only manage your money, but have your money working for you. Because uh, at the end of the day, that's kind of what you want is you want your money working harder than you are. Because passive income, and that's what I like about all these different farms is, you know, I'm staking tokens. I'm earning every day. Um, once my farms get big enough, you know, I'm gonna be at a point where, hey, I can live off DeFi, like some of these other videos, some of these other people that I've seen some of their different testimonials of how they're earning, you know, a thousand a month, a thousand a day, two thousand a month, three thousand a day. I mean, I feel like the sky's the limit with this because right now, you know, some of these APRs, APYs, they're really high right now, but. Part of me feels like they're not gonna always be this high. Um, you know, like I said, every protocol that you see and go to, you know, there is always that little disclaimer that says, you know, these APRs, APYs can fluctuate. Um, so, you know, take advantage of the high yields now, because, you know, a year from now, they might not be the same. Um, but that's gonna really wrap it up. So that's gonna really wrap it up as far as today's episode into the Defy world, because I know Again, for those of you that might be first time listening to the podcast, you probably have never heard of DeFi. Um, it is another sector in the crypto section, um, but it's a sector that I would say has a lot of attention towards it, just for the fact that, again, there's certain places where 
you don't have to do anything, folks. You don't got to do anything. You just literally stake your token. You come back. You harvest it. I mean, that, that's it. It's a very, I would say, if on the risk factor, it's, it's very low risk. Low to medium risk, depending on which platform you're on. Um, because, again, some platforms are still uh, experimental. They're still not, you know, quite finished. They still got to, you know, get some audits and stuff like that. But I would say, you know, you could take some blow low investments like 100 bucks 50 bucks throw it in here and, you know see how you feel test out the waters but as far as liquidity pool side i would say that's more so a little bit more on the high risk um that's something that you, again you gotta be careful because on certain platforms you know you gotta watch out for that 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 ratio make sure that ratio is somewhere where you don't you know typically might have to owe and stuff like that and pay some debts um but staking again farming Again, it's probably one of your safest bets, very low risk. And again, if you have enough, you can potentially turn that into, you know, daily income where that's paying for your bills, your groceries, whatever the case may be. But that's going to wrap it up for today's episode of the Crypto Millionaire Journey. Appreciate you guys tuning into the podcast. Hope you guys are enjoying. Hope you guys are learning something. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. So these are risks that you guys are taking you know these are your own risks because you know as you guys know investing is a risky business so again do your due diligence do your research before you decide to get into the world but i'm gonna get on out of here until the next episode uh, i think the next episode we're gonna discuss star atlas I'm gonna give you guys a little update I actually uh bought my first meta poster um because they got some updates that are coming out pretty soon as well you guys have heard my last episode about star atlas i'm pretty excited to be involved with that game um can't wait to be a beta user and test it all out but this is your boy the wolf of crypto until next time y'all take care peace out